Hi, welcome to All About WordPress. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to translate language files using Locker Translate plugin. So it provides in-browser editing of WordPress translation files. So you can translate your PO files, MO files of a plugin or theme. So you can easily edit through Locker Translate plugin. So for installing and activating it, just go to the plugins dashboard and you can see here plugins add new section. So you can search for local translate. And you can see the local translate plugin is listed over here. So since I already installed and activated Locker Translate plugin. So it doesn't show install now button or activate. So it's just showing update now because I haven't updated it. Anyways, it's already installed and activated for you. You can just click on install now and activate over here there. And then you can see a Locker Translate the dashboard. So there you can see the language section. In the languages section, it will be listing the languages that your site is currently having. So I have two languages over here. This is my default language and another one is Arabic. Since I'm using WPML plugin, so I'm having two languages. So I just want to edit my plugin for Arabic language. You can either edit the plugins by using going to plugins, install plugins. And you can see a translate button over here. You can either edit over by going to translate here, or you can edit from the local translate plugin section. So I'm just gonna edit WooCommerce plugin. Let me show you how to edit a plugin. So WooCommerce. So here it is a WooCommerce. And I already have a language over here, Arabic. So if you want to add a new language, you can by going to plus new language and you can just add a new language if you want. So I'm gonna edit my Arabic language. So I'm just gonna show you how to change the translation for an add to card in the Arabic language. So let me show you what it is present. So for Arabic, you can see my text is like this. It's like add to card is in this translation and I'm just gonna change it. I'm just gonna search for add to card. You can see add to card. Here, so I'm gonna just change the text. So let me make it as additional. Okay, addition. So I'm just gonna click on save. After editing the text, whatever the text you have, and you can just click on save after editing. So you can see the off file is saved and then the file is compiled. So I'm gonna reload my site. You can see the translation is. Change. the text is changed for Arabic now it's addition it's different from so, so, so it's, you can easily translate your plugin theme etc if I have a local translate and let me show you another one let's go to the plugin section again let me show you how to edit app maker WooCommerce plugin so I just have a text over my app I just need to translate So in order to add the language, I just have to click over here. The language, I just need an Arabic one. I'm gonna search for, you can see my install languages over here. So I'm gonna do for Arabic. And there's all the like, so I'm just gonna start translating. So this is about the Arabic language. You can see many text over here, which is present in the App Maker WooCommerce plugin. So I just want to change my add review text. 
conversion attribute. So before that, let me show you how it appears in my app. So I have already, I already have an app for this website. You can see it over here. Just narrowing it. See a review in my product detail. Here you can see the ad review. So I just need to translate this ad review for my Arabic language. So for ad review, I'm just gonna make it as this. I have added a translation. I'm just gonna click on save. And now my app, I just need to change my language to Arabic. And I'm gonna search for a product. So I'm gonna click on my product. You can see it over here. See the ad review translation is in text. So this is how you can translate a text in a plugin. So if you want to make any changes to the theme or you can add a translation to a theme by going to local translate themes and you can see the themes over here. So you can just click on what the theme that you want and you can just edit on it. So activate the theme, you can just edit on your activate themes. Their translations can be done. So this is how you can, this is just a basic steps how to do a tra or translation using local chats. So there are many more things over here. So this is just a basic transition how you can do it for the plugin side. So that's all guys. Thank you.